GameFam has become one of the largest Roblox dev studios. I have some beef with them, as you know. Not any of the developers in, uh, in particular, but just kind of, uh, their presence on the platform has always felt very, uh, very corporate and a little, uh, I don't know how much I should say, but it looks like they're, they might be getting sued by Friday Night Funkin'. You might be wondering why. I don't really know how GameFam fully works, but I'm pretty sure they make deals with already existing games games uh to like just help them out and then the game fam kind of gets ownership or part ownership there's a lot of games under the game fam umbrella and uh one of them is a friday night funkin copy i guess that seems kind of dumb right for uh for like such a big studio to just partner or like partly own a uh or fully own uh, a copy of another game that sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen well it is it, it might it, it probably hopefully two of the creators of friday night funkin uh tweeted this uh lol because they're doing some sonic and it's like some sonic sponsorship in their uh friday night funkin i think it's funky friday yeah game fam did sonic speed simulator which as you can see i am i'm one of the few people that really hate this game i think it's so weird to make like uh, to have gambling incorporated in a Sonic game, which is like clean cut brand. Like this is gambling. I know there's a lot of that on Roblox uh, and like it's whatever, but like with Sonic, like that that's a brand I grew up playing. I'm very, very fond of that brand. So I so I felt a certain way about it and whatever. I'm pretty sure the CEO uh, <laughs> uh, doesn't like me very much, which might, uh, might be an understatement. I don't know. A lot of people thought this was a joke at first. Uh, Ninja Muffin, one of the creators of FNF said, uh, you're right, Dave. Let's consult our lawyers about this. So I said, this is an obvious joke. Why do people believe this? And then uh, Ninja Muffin responded saying, it's not. Like, I think a few hours before this happened, I was talking to my friend about how uh, Funky Friday probably made like a lot more money than FNF actually did because FNF's a free game. I think they got like maybe like a million or two off of a Kickstarter. If you think about it, I feel like that's not that much considering how huge of a game, uh, like this game is. And then people just make a direct remake copy and make probably way more than they did. So yeah, I think it's kind of a good thing. I, I hope they are able to pursue legal action and, you know, kind of get some some of their deserved earnings because I feel like they've had uh, kind of a lot stolen from them. So, you know, technically uh, what this means is Sonic is being sued. And uh, what Sonic needs right now is our support, our help, and our money. He actually, he prepared some statements for me. Game fam, can I borrow some money for this lawsuit? I'm broke from gambling at Sonic Speed Simulator. Oh man, that's horrible news, Sonic. Yeah, Sonic, the, the br not the brand, but the hedgehog himself. Actually, uh, he tweeted uh, this voice recording out. Hey guys, this is Sonic. Please donate to my cash app. I can't say much about it, but I'm going through legal trouble. Anything helps. Legal trouble, you say? I bet, hey, I bet that's related to the, to the thing we were talking about earlier, right? And um, a couple days after this, some more stuff came out about Game Fam. <laughs> um, and a couple days after this interaction, a, a couple former employees of Game Fam came out and talked about how like working with Game or working for Game Fam was a pretty negative experience. And uh, before I go into any of that, any issue here is not like no game fam dev or like no Roblox devs are behind what I'm about to talk about. Don't harass anybody who works for game fam. There just seems to be like a couple issues with like the higher management that uh, they don't play Roblox. So don't don't harass any Roblox player, any, don't be an idiot. The, the people we're talking about don't really have a public presence. So there's a lot of developers on, pretty much every developer on GameFam is just a normal person like you and I. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the higher management. So a Roblox dev, uh, Digi Purgatory, just kind of mentioned about like GameFam uh, underpaying. GameFam's trying to, or allegedly GameFam is trying to create a monopoly on the Roblox site by buying out other games and integrating them into their company. That's why uh, GameFam has all these popular games under their belt. You know, I know people who have received uh, like an offer from GameFam about their game and it was like, Eh, 
Yeah, seems like underpaid, overworked, and then just kind of like fired out of nowhere after submitting uh, this update that they they used. Here's the here's the update this person made, the Werehog update, and then just terminated from the company, no notice until next Monday to check on tasks for the week. There is people on the Flamingo team. I I, I technically yeah I I employ people. I I truly could not imagine just like firing someone and not having that kind of communication, especially like. Doesn't seem like there's a reason for this person to be fired if Game Fam is like using the thing that they made. So clearly it's not like this person's performance was like horrible or something. Like look, good, good quality work. So good, so good they showed it off on Twitter. Little did anybody know that per this person who made this was just like fired right before this was posted with no notice. You know, they just disable replies on that tweet. Um, Alice brings up a, a similar story where, you know, fired with no notice, encouraged to work for free. Yeah, similar story of kind of uh, just being overworked and then, uh, uh, woke up to start work and was locked out of the work email and six hours later was told to uh, go to a Google meet with the CEO and a couple higher ups. The CEO uh, tells them that they were fired that weekend and this was the first uh, first time they were hearing of it. The reason was leaking company secrets and was told that uh, there was no proof but that it was the only explanation for their lack of productivity. Everyone around me knew how hard I worked for this company and that was completely overworking me to the bone. When I informed the CEO I had no second job, like he said, his only response was, oh, okay. So they just kind of like, uh, the CEO said you can leave or we can like make a, make a new contract. This is kind of like a weird thing to say. Worked every day of the week, uh, no new contract yet. It was told to be grateful for this uncontracted opportunity. Never received any of that pay from that week of free work. When you fire someone, you typically give them a severance, which is like a little bit of money to keep them going for a little bit. They didn't even give that. This part's important. Uh, GameFam employs a lot of incredibly hardworking developers from all over the world. Yeah, like this isn't any fault of the developers in any way. So don't, don't try to find, don't like, this is purely like a very like higher up CEO thing. I know some Roblox developers pro who probably own like some games watch the channel sometimes maybe. They'll probably, so, some of them will probably watch this video because it's kind of like a juicy topic. Uh, Eric, here's two people you can, uh, you can hire if any good can come from this video. I don't know if I've mentioned this publicly ever, but like I'm, I'm pretty against corporations getting involved in Roblox. I know I joke and say like, I want, I want Roblox games to all be copies of other games. Corporations have a fun way of just ruining everything and like just mistreating people and not really receiving any backlash. Flash. Like take Piggy for example. This was like it started out with Minitune and I think uh IKEA, a developer. There's like three or four people that work on this game. This is one of the most successful iconic games. It was fun. Corporations getting into Roblox is like completely inevitable. But uh, I think it's good we hold them accountable because Roblox probably doesn't want to get involved in it. But they, they, the game fam like owns so many games at this point. Twilight Daycare. Like I was going to buy Twilight Daycare toys as a joke and like throw them through my wall. But I don't even want to because that's like a dollar that goes to game fam. Game fam came out with a statement and basically just said, we are so cool. We are so cool. We are very proud of the work we do in the company we have built together. Here's some facts about working at Game Fam. Big money, unlimited paid time off, unlimited celebration of company wins at quarterly all hands global meetings. There have been no layoffs recently or ever at Game Fam. Well, that, that solves that. They don't acknowledge pretty much, they acknowledge nothing. And sure, Game Fam, if you're doing, uh, if you're doing good now that's great even though one of these was about like a recent update so there have been no layoffs recently see if you don't believe me hear it from my boy sonic hey guys sonic here it has been three minutes since our last layoff 
There have been no layoffs recently. Wait, recently or ever? Oh, is fired the same thing as a layoff? I don't know. And before, uh, hey, hey, game fam. If there's that, whoever sues people at game fam, it, I'm not, I'm not saying you would sue me, but I'm saying there's probably zero legal ground. I am strictly just reporting on info that is out there. I have not said anything in this video. This video has been muted the whole time. Oh God. Yeah, like I said, I, I think it's just good to uh report on this because. <laughs> I don't know. Roblox is a pretty like sacred environment, uh, maybe to me, but I, I feel like there's a really unique dynamic here where people can make really great teams. And if, if corporations just dominate it, they can kind of just start doing that without being checked by anyone. And don't, don't harass game fam. Don't, especially don't harass any game fam developer. Like don't do anything. Cause that'll just mess up the process of like actually getting justice from this situation. Uh, I just felt like this was important to talk about. So, uh, yeah. Don't sue me. Please, please don't sue me.